Alright, let's talk about the pulverizer. So we got coal silo. We've got a motor operated gate valve. That goes down to a feeder. Feeder dumps into the pulverizer itself, and that feeds down onto the grinding table. The grinding table is turned by a gear box, which is turned by a big 4160 motor. And then we've got Wheels, limited time. So we got wheel, there's three of them, but you can't draw three. There's, and they sit in the groove of that motor, or that table. And so the coal comes down and the table turns because of the shape of the table. There's a triple force that gets slung out under the wheel and the wheel grinds it up. And then it gets ground up into until it's like powder. There's what well, probably should have uh, reviewed before I did this. So this wheel has like a hinge on it, and it has a couple of springs that hold it down. So it actually has some little bit of bitty bit to adjust in case something gets in there that's not going to get ground up like the coal is. So something like concrete or a wrench or whatever. Track, uh, track nail. Yeah. <laughs> Nails from the railroad tracks. Railroad spikes. That's it. <laughs> All right. So then stuff that does get under there gets kicked out and ends up on under the table. And then that gets scooped on and dumped into the pirate hopper. My eraser. Failed to set up. Alright. It's good enough, man. It's on the table behind here. Alright. So we grind up the coal, and then where does it go? Up. To the last wire. Up. All right, up is a good answer. So we are trying to go up. My answer was going to be to the burner, but you're right. Before it goes to the burner, it has to go through the classifier. So the classifier is like a screen and it's got a motor on top that can adjust the space in the screen to make sure that the coal that makes it through the screen is fine enough that it goes up and it burns. Because coal has a lot of energy in it, but you have to get oxygen to all the parts of it for it to actually burn. Otherwise, you get chunks that fall down in the bottom ash and get end up in the bottom ash pile. So, goes through the classifier, the bigger parts fall down, make another lap. What moves it up? What makes it go up to the top? PA fan. Air from PA fan. All right. So we've got under the table, the air blows in, it blows up, and then you've got that giant guillotine damper, and then you've got a flow control damper, and then you've got hot air and cold air that both come in mixed together. And both of those are coming from the PA fan.
What's PA stand for? Primary. Primary. What's primary mean? First. Right, so this is the first air that comes in contact with the coal. The, the secondary air comes in the coal at the burner to make sure there's enough oxygen for it to actually burn. We don't call it the secondary air fan, we call it the force draft fan. Either, either naming scheme would end up with one of them being the oddball. So the PA, whew, let's go back to black. Rotary air heater. And the PA blows across that rotary air heater and heats the air up. But not all of it. Some of it skips the rotor here. Here, wow, that was really fast, and that covered a lot. <laughs> so, PA air blows in. Some, most of it gets heated. Some of it bypasses around. The cool air and the hot air mixed together. You got a flow control damper, cut damper, and then that air blows in the bottom of the mill. That blows, the mill is grinding up the coal. The coal is then a fine talcum powder kind of consistency and blowing up through the classifier, up through the cut damper, and then into the boiler itself. <coughs> So what is the purpose of the feeder? Flow control. Flow control. Changing the speed that the feeder runs controls how much coal goes in, which controls how hot the fires are, which then in turn controls how much pressure or megawatts we're making. Right? 